know what that says. This just happened this week. Facebook, Spotify, Apple, YouTube, right? They all banned the InfoWars channel. So let me ask yeah. you, do you think that's a good thing or that's a bad thing? No, I think it's a catastrophe. First they came for Alessandro. They're ethically Australia. responsible for the content on their platforms. But they I decided did not speak that out. they're going to be in the business of arbitrarily determining what should and shouldn't be presented for public viewing. And they'll then never they run out of decisions to Noah make. Carl. They have an awful lot of content, and drawing the lines is going to be an extraordinarily difficult but thing I to do. Speak out. There's going to be all sorts of lines that they have to decide now. So they're going to take out Paul Joseph Watson next. Then they came from Paul Joseph Watson. And I did not speak out. for me, but there was no one left to speak for me. Especially since Patreon banned and Sargon of a cat, right, Carl Benjamin, which I think was a big mistake. I actually know of it. that Paul Joseph Watson, another person who was banned mainly because he's the top forward info force. I actually no evidence at all that Paul Joseph Watson has engaged in violence. Now, we have to make a distinction between violence and speech. I'll explain in just a second. First, let's talk about your sleep quality. You definitely will. It's been just over 24 hours since Facebook banned Paul Joseph no Watson. No more compromising. In, in the case of Megan Merkel, no she responded no to something. She said, men aren't women, though. No more confusion. No more compromising. She was permanently banned. No more confusion. No more compromise. Well, that's crazy. Human sleep is rated the number one mattress by IGU and Wired Magazine. Crazy. CNN is one the most comfortable mattress they've ever slept on. Well, that's crazy. There's no more confusion. No more compromising. Well, that's crazy. You'll have, I, I could, could name so many people. Jess, uh, Jesse Kelly was banned for no reason. CJ Pearson was banned, I think. Why you say no reason? That was an accident. They said it was an accident? Yeah. Well, that's crazy. That was an accident. That's crazy. All right, everyone, we have to talk about Facebook and Instagram because, you know, they've been basically depersoning people on behalf of their globalistic masters for a while now. Well, I don't think that was just fluke. No. Your account was suspended. Do you have any idea why? No. Your account was suspended. Do you have any idea why? No. Deplatforming, demonetization on YouTube. And no. Driven almost entirely by no leftist confusion about free speech. No more confusion. No more No. Right now it's being widely reported that one of the largest no. book distributors in New Zealand, Whitpools, is no longer selling Jordan Peterson's book. The other day they decided, oh, we're going to purge dangerous people from no. the platform. <laughs> Literally using the moniker dangerous to describe them. Paul Joseph Watson. Two days before PayPal banned us, they put a hate designation from the Southern Poverty Law Center saying, I'm basically a terrorist. So when they call you a hate person now, it means a terrorist in Interpol. So all over the Western world, I am listed as an international terrorist, and that's how they took five of my six bank accounts and got me down to one bank account with perfect credit. With perfect credit. And the fact is that, according to the New York Times, people like Alex Jones are being banned not for stuff that they did, but for featuring Gavin McGinnis. And my Indianapolis is being banned. The company insists that each was in violation of its terms of service. These recent expulsions by the way, I think are explained by political bias. Although I don't share the politics of the fifth members, I will be deleting my Patreon account tomorrow. You might not even like my jokes. You might not even like my jokes. You might not even like my jokes. You might not like me. You might not like my jokes. You might not even like my politics. Well, that's my sucks. My sucks. You might not like me. You might not like my jokes. You might not even like my politics. I don't think any of these people should be banned. That's crazy. But here's the key thing. It starts with me and it ends with you. This is why we defend not just speech but offensive free speech. And I think that if they are banned, I need a clear standard as to why these people should be banned. Those people are the canaries in the coal mine. In this case, you have a fabulous canary in the coal mine who is, uh, you know, being uh, punished by Twitter for jokes. And, and having criticism and ridicule mischaracterized as abuse and harassment. And it happened to me last week. Or Paul week, Joseph Watson. Okay, so you're telling me that Milo is banned. 
or Paul Joseph Watson is banned because he is associated with Alex Jones, who is associated with Gavin McGinnis. Is this the standard? So I would say you have an ethical responsibility as a citizen to forthrightly confront creeping tyranny no matter where it occurs. I implore you to look beyond your myopic careerist pursuits and throw your hats into the greater battle for the soul of our culture, our freedoms, our edifices of reason. Your silence makes you complicit in the degradation of our individual liberties. Get engaged. Do the right thing. You definitely will. It will give you the best sleep of your life. Well, imagine my shock. Well, imagine my shock. Imagine my shock. Imagine my shock. Well, imagine my shock. Well, imagine my shock. Well, imagine my shock. Imagine my shock. Imagine my shock. Well, imagine my shock. Well, imagine my shock. Well, imagine my shock. Imagine my shock. Imagine my shock. Well, imagine my shock. Well, imagine my shock. Well, imagine my shock. feel personally uncomfortable all that reasoning goes out the window well i'm here to tell you this is actually I could dangerous be shut to off. give people the ability I have no to idea find why Yannapolis is bad bad on, on his own merit but Yannapolis is being banned because of the didn't you see dirty dancing sell t-shirts right the point is hitler 